Hi Cancer, I hope you guys are doing well. Let's see what's coming through for you guys mid-month of May to mid-June, okay? First of all, we're gonna take a look at um, the pendulum reading. So we're gonna, we're gonna see, think of one question, yes and no answer, and see what's coming out for you guys. And then we're gonna, talk at, we're gonna take a look at the tarot messages, okay? And see what is, what is the strongest messages that come through this could be love related work related money relationship or in general whatever that is that want to come through for you guys okay let's go oh energy first Let's see what's coming through for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mars. It's coming through for you guys. For Cancerian. Thank you. Oh, I got a yes. Interesting. I feel like something that like something that is going to surprise you. Like you could be expecting a no about this situation and then you find out it's a yes you know let's see what's coming through for cancer sun moon rising Venus, and mars for this reading mid may to mid june let's see what's coming through for our beautiful cancerian okay we have two cards that want to come out let's we'll see the first card what it is oh the three of wands i love that the first card is the strongest. The three of wands is all about looking toward the future, waiting for something. For some of you guys, you could be waiting for a package, waiting for a letter, waiting to hear back from something. You could be applying for something and you're like waiting impatiently. Like, I want to know, like soon, sooner the better. But again, just, you know, you are being required to be patient. And whenever we focus, when, whenever we really focus on something, we really want to manifest something, it's better um, to try to do something else, like try to, you know, um, doing something that help you take your mind off that thing because like you don't want to like fully, fully, really like put all your energy into it because when you're waiting for something, you want to surrender and let, you know, the universe work, the magic too, you know what I mean? Um, we already did everything we could, you know like our action our intention our energy our word all of that are like in our action in in our control but also have us how things gonna manifest it will be however it meant to be so it's not in your control you have been called to surrender to let go okay that's the kind of thing that i'm seeing and you're gonna feel much more happier right rather than focus on things that are not happened yet looking around you and see looking around you every detail it could be like a mindfulness kind of activity like practices for you like looking around you what do you have what i what do you have in your life that you're grateful for you know maybe like just take two or three minutes in a day just come up like thinking about it and the more you practice that this activity it's gonna rewire your brain to look at more things to look at more things that make you feel grateful for um and it's kind of like it you also bringing that energy to you you know it's kind of like when you it's work both way it's like if you only focus on things that you don't have and you're like oh i don't have this i don't have that like con constantly complaining then you are drawing the energy to you more lack but if you're like wow i'm grateful i have this wow i'm grateful i have water to drink i have a bed to sleep on i have you know a roof over my top i have food to eat or i have my loved one i have my friends or you know i wake up i i wake up today you know that whatever that is right like i have a second chance or I, you see the sunset sunrise right see flowers enjoy nature like whatever that is that may bring you joy everyone is different but i feel like focus more on that because your manifestation skill the magician energy is really strong as well so be mindful what you pay attention to 
your intention, your energy, your focus. Make sure to pay that, pay attention to to whatever that you want to grow and manifest, coming from gratitude, coming from abundance and growth mindset. Next card, we have the three of three of swords. Interesting. For some of you could be connecting with Gemini. I have similar card, but a little bit different um, messages for some. Um, for some of you guys, life, a lesson, and people, a situation, you've been through a lot of things with the Three of Swords. But that doesn't mean it, it's going to make you a cold-hearted person. doesn't make you a bitter person. You know how sometimes things happen to people and they end up becoming... You know how, like, the example that I'm seeing, like, when someone got bullied, like maybe this person got bullied at home, so they end up bullying people at school, you know? When th that's kind of thing that I'm seeing. And I feel like for you guys, you don't do that. You don't go out and try to take revenge or, but y you are, the, the energy that I'm seeing is more of like, it's hard for you to let go. You know, it's, for you, it's kind of like, your energy is more of like, I'm really, when I want something, when I love something, I'm like really attached to that thing. And you are being called to release because I, I do see like, you know, this creature with the with the uh, wings here. It's it's kind of like, like a bird energy, right? Like how when you love something, you let it go. If it's meant to be or it will come back. Or like, you know, the example of a bird in a cage. If you truly love the bird, you will let the bird be the bird and let them fly if they want to come back they will fly to see you if not you set them free and you see them happy it's work you know both way that's kind of thing that i'm seeing whatever happened is supposed to happen and i'm hearing like one door close another door open whenever we get a rejection whenever we get a no from things in life that we want right it's it can disappoint us it can you know hurt our feelings but when we look at it from the aspect of wow it's a no for me because it's a yes for someone else so that is destined for them right i would try my best when is my time then it will be a yes for me so it's like there's enough there's enough abundance for everyone that's the message that comes through for me so you are being called to really focus on your growth mindset you know it's kind of like shift from like a lack mindset to to a gratitude all that stuff um but first of all you just have to grieve and heal as well you know i i also see that oh wow we have three card flip i'm gonna read all of them because you know it's me it's supposed to happen we have the ten of sword after the three of sword the worst is over it's definitely the ending of this heartbreak the betrayer the period where is you really struggling mentally emotionally whatever that is right spiritually it's gonna be different for everyone and we have the nile one next so usually the nile one from a traditional day is more of like someone who like you know got put against the wall like wounded warrior but this energy is different look at this person that's a sunshine sunset or sunrise behind her so every time i see sunset or sunrise they're always a new beginning you know um with the flower blossoming there you've been through battle you've been you know hurt and wounded but you're healing and you let that pain kind of empower you to want better for yourself to stand up for yourself anytime things that happen doesn't anytime things that happen that is not what you want it getting you a step closer to what you want right so like oh wow like i don't want to be in this kind of, of connection anymore you see like a red flag or unhealthy pattern now you look out for that so you attract so you kind of like reserve your energy not everyone can have access to your energy right this is spiritual hygiene. You really take good care of you. Um, and it requires you to like, you know, going within, going through like hermit modes, you know, when you spend a lot of your alone time. But this is you like, 
I'm gonna step out. Just like just like the sun ray rise every morning, you can rise from that from the darkness as well. That's beautiful. And this is the last card. We have the Nine of Wands. This Nine of Wands really remind me of the Six of Wands, which is the, the card of victory. Once you accept every part of you, no one can use it against you. You know who you are, right? And this is you already a winner. So people are drawn to the energy, but you don't need other people or outside validation. You already know who you are. You already know what make you happy. You already know what you don't want. You already know what you want. Then you're going to put all your energy into manifesting that. This is you on your way to success. I love that. And it's coming your way as a first card of three of wands. No more looking back. You know, it's only forward from now on. Okay. Anyway, guys, thank you so much again for your love and support. I'll talk to you soon. Love a light. Bye.